One of the things that's very cool about a good psychotherapeutic session is that all you're doing is trying to express the truth of the situation as clearly as possible. That's it. And so, now, Roger's proposition was that if you have a conversation like that with someone, it will make both of you better. It'll make both of you psychologically healthier. So there's an implicit presupposition that the exchange of truth is curative. Well, that's a very cool idea. I mean, it's a very deep idea. Uh, I think it's the most profound idea. It's the, it's the idea upon, Western civil, upon which Western civilization, although not only Western civilization, is actually predicated. The idea that truth produces health. But for Rogers, that was the entire purpose of the Psychotherapeutic Alliance. You come to see me because you want to be better. You don't even know what that means necessarily, neither do I. We're going to figure that out together. But you come and you say, look, things are not acceptable to me, and maybe there's something I could do about that. So that's the minimal precondition to engage in therapy. Something's wrong, you're willing to talk about it truthfully, and you want it to be better. Without that, the therapeutic relationship does not get off the ground. And so then you might ask, well, what relationships are therapeutic? And the answer to that would be, if you have a real relationship, it's therapeutic. If it isn't, what you have is not a relationship. God only knows what you have. You're a slave, they're a tyrant. You know, you're both butting heads with one another. It's a primate dominance hierarchy dispute. Oh, I don't know, you're like two cats in a barrel or two people with their hands around each other's throats. But you, what you have is not a relationship. Well, I've been quite influenced by Rogers. One of the things I try to do in my therapeutic sessions is first of all to listen, to really listen. And then, well, while I listen, I watch. And while I'm listening, things will happen in my head. You know, maybe I'll get a little image of something or I'll get a thought or a question will emerge and then I'll just tell the person what that is. But it's sort of directionless, you know, it's not like I have a goal except that we're trying to make things better. I'm on the side of the part of the person that wants things to be better, not worse. And so then we, those parts of us have a dialogue and the consequence of that dialogue is that certain things take place and then I'll just tell the person what happened. And it isn't that I'm right. That's not the point. The point is, is that they get to have an hour where someone actually tells them what they think. Here's the impact you're having on me. You know, this is making me angry. This is making me happy. This is really interesting. This reminds me of something that you said an hour ago that I don't quite understand. And the whole, the whole point is not for either person to make the proposition or convince the other that their position is correct, but merely to have an exchange of experience about how things are set up. And it's extraordinarily useful for people because it's often difficult for anyone to find anyone to talk to that will actually listen. And so another thing that's really strange about this listening is that if you listen to people, they will tell you the weirdest bloody things so fast you just cannot believe it. So if you're having a conversation with someone and it's dull, it's because you're stupid. That's why. You're not listening to them properly because they're weird. They're like wombats or albatrosses or rhinoceroses or something like they're strange creatures and so if you were actually communicating with them and they were telling you how weird they really are it would be it would be anything but boring so and you can ask questions that's a really good way of listening but you know one of Roger's points is well you have to be oriented properly in order to listen and the orientation has to be look what I want out of this conversation is that the place we both end up is better than the place we left that's it that's what I'm after.